Hi everyone, my name is Kushal Adlan, I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. Welcome back to another video. Today we have with us Prince who has done some amazing gigs in his career. Uh, he's still in college and cracked so many internships. So today's video is going to help you in of the aspects with respect to off-campus opportunities and how to actually use your LinkedIn to grow in your career. So without any further ado, let's get started with his introduction. Over to you, Prince. Hey, uh, I am Prince. I am also known as Codemaster CPP on most of the platforms like Codeforces and YouTube. Cringe name, but deal with it. And uh, I'm in third year or fourth year. I'm not sure. My third year has ended, but fourth year hasn't started. And right now I am doing an internship at Mercari, Japan. So, okay, that's yeah, great. I'll expand so, on things later. Yeah, sure. So, Prince, uh, what all opportunities you have cracked till now, and uh, like how many of them were off campus? Uh, okay, so I have cracked uh, four opportunities till now, and all of them were off campus. So, that's... the first one was Code Chef as an SD intern. So, that was four months. And then, Share Chat as a back end intern, that was 10 months. Okay. Then, uh, Google as a SWE intern, so that was 12 weeks. And uh, right now I am in Mercari, Japan. So that that is also 2.5 months. That's amazing. I mean, so many internships and that to <laughs> off campus. So what was your strategy while applying to off campus opportunities? Did you leverage LinkedIn to apply for these opportunities or did you just use the career portal? How you reached out to people? Did you ask for referrals or what was your complete off campus strategy? Right. So uh, there are multiple steps to applying, right? The first step is discovering the opportunity. So, so like Prince has told video that how difficult it is difficult to discover the opportunities. But this problem is problem to solve the GFG is helping you because on their platform you can find amazing job opportunities. Whether you are a college student, ho, internship, ho, fresh student, ho, full time job, ho, ya fir experience candidate, ho, or experience job, then you will get everything in one place. GFG के platform में multiple job openings anytime present रहती है जैसे कि आपको आपकी screen के ऊपर दिख भी रहा होगा अब बहुत सारे student होते हैं जिन्हें कोई particular designation की job ही job में ही apply करना होता है तो आप इसके अंदर data engineer, software engineer, full stack engineer, back end engineer, front end engineer सभी का filter designation में लगा कर आप उन्हें you know sort out कर सकते हैं अपने experience के according अपनी salary expectation के according आप filter out कर सकते हैं अब मुझे specifically experience जिनका one year से कम हो उनके लिए जो opportunities देखनी है तो वो भी मेरे को मिल जाती हैं अब internship opportunities आपको दिख रही हैं बहुत सारी fresh skill full time opportunity आपको मिल जाएंगी तो यार कहीं जाने की ज़रूरत नहीं है salary से लेकर experience से लेकर role जो आप particular उस company provide कर रहे हैं वो वो आपको मिल जाएगा और आप directly इनके portal पे apply कर सकते हैं उन सारी companies में और इनका जो जॉब इथॉन उतर होता है उसके थ्रू आप हायर भी हो सकते हैं उन कंपनीज के अंदर तो वेट मत करो यार लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगी उस प्लेटफॉर्म को जाके चेक आउट करो जो भी आपके रिलेवेंट ओपनिंग्स है उनमें अप्लाई करो एंड गेट अ चांस टू गेट हायर्ड एट दोस कंपनीज फॉर दैट आई हैड माय फ्रेंड्स ग्रुप वेयर आई वुड शेयर अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड सो दे वुड आल्सो शेयर एंड देन लिंक्डइन आई ट्राइड टू कीप माय लिंक्डइन क्रिंज फ्री so so that i can get more opportunities so yeah this that's how i mostly discovered uh, i also had a lot of friends on discord who would share yeah. so that's how i discovered the opportunities now the next step was uh, recognizing that uh, there is a lot of uh, luck in things so what i used to do is apply at every possible uh, place where i can yeah and at this step i would also try to take referral either from from my friends uh, on discord or uh, my college seniors and or if uh, i don't know anyone then from linkedin okay. and, uh, yeah so that's how i would apply and then to actually crack them you just have to be good and lucky exactly so as you mentioned you know first is first step is recognizing those opportunities that are you even eligible right. for those opportunities second is applying uh, to those opportunities via maybe a referral or directly to the career portal but uh, in your whole you know, applying to off-campus journey, have you reached out to recruiters or hiring managers to ask for opportunities? And if yes, uh, how did you do that? Yes. So, uh, I have not personally done that, but I have a lot of friends who have done that and uh, it uh, works. Uh, but uh, if I had to do it, uh, what I would do is, first of all, I'll try either LinkedIn messaging or uh, a cold emailing and there, uh, I need to like uh, have a great introduction is what I believe uh, so that 
you know it catches their eye because uh, if they see that uh, i start my uh, subject so it not subject the body of the email by saying uh, hey give me a referral they would they would probably ignore and uh, go on with their day so uh, i would give uh, an introduction that is a little bit impactful so Excellent. that would be my strategy if i mm-hmm. were to do that great i mean and recently i have made a video on the similar topic where you can find templates to reach out to people recruiters and hiring managers those are some amazing templates that will definitely help you to get uh, you know responses from the other people uh, great so, uh, so if, since you might have your journey would not be like you have applied to four companies and you got the opportunity it would be like applied to 50 companies and then you got, might have got four uh, opportunities so what was the most difficult part for you uh in getting those off campus opportunities right so in off campus the most difficult part is the feedback because uh in on campus if you apply somewhere you get the feedback either you're rejected or you're selected for the next round in off campus it's different in the sense that uh they you can get ghosted or you can mm-hmm. get the reply after a month mm-hmm. so uh that is the toughest part so uh, the toughest part is getting the interview uh, because exactly. i have applied to a lot of companies uh but i've only gotten four or five interviews and pretty much been able to uh secure all of them because interviews are a little bit more under your control uh, they also have the at luck factor makes sense so since you also know that you apply to so many companies but you get a lot less responses what do you think are the secret tips or some of the things that differentiated those applications which helped you to get responses for them you might have applied through linkedin uh, you know there is an option to submit your resume as well as apply with linkedin and th- sometimes you know you also get questions for that particular opening uh, that why you want to join the company or what skills you have been working till now so and so forth so what are your views on this okay so i don't think there is any secret mostly I applied to every company with a generic resume because I'm applying for usually a generic role that is software engineer yeah. intern. So um, the key, I guess, is first of all make your resume parsable. Some people still make resumes in Google Docs. I would ask them to get out of the rock under which they are and uh, start using LaTeX. I use Overleaf and uh, use a good format. Don't be too fancy with colors because they also can mess things up mm-hmm. and then finally uh, once your resume is parsed usually there's a lot of keywords that it searches for right uh, in my case i can abuse the word google but before that what i used to do is uh, try to have more uh, relevant keyword let's say microservices uh, because i've worked there worked on them in sharechat then uh, scaling and then there are things related to um, like uh, data oriented design that's in one of my projects so essentially you have to sell whatever you have done in the most relevant way exactly i mean that, that these are some amazing points so let's talk about your preparation strategy what resources you are using what was your like the how you prepared and does cp help you got get these opportunities i mean where does cp came in in getting these opportunities right okay so uh let's talk about how i will prepare for a company now okay let's say i had an interview for microsoft or amazon so first of all i have decent enough uh, problem solving that i'm confident that i can solve a new question on the spot uh, thanks to my cp experience so what i do is i prepare classical problems because uh, people are picky with classical problems they want the most optimal solution not just by time complexity but by a uh, number of operations in a sense right mm-hmm. sometimes they won't let you make two loops they just want one so uh, mm-hmm. those kind of things are somewhat annoying so that's why i prepare them now uh, one place i go for that is uh, either i go to interview bit or uh, there's a strivers sheet right uh, so i solve like the first uh, few uh, i mean i would suggest first 10 20 for the classical problems but uh, when i do i just solve all of it so here's my strategy uh, what i do is uh, since i have the problem solving uh, what i do is i prepare all the classical problems and uh, i would be honest here i don't solve them i just see the solution i couldn't be bothered uh, i 
I spent one day uh, doing all the Striver SD sheet question before my Google que- Google interview. Uh, so yeah, you can tell I did not actually solve those. So I will go through them and uh, I will start giving a little bit uh, of contests to get back in form. And uh, that's how I prepare for DSA based interview. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, that is because you go through just see through those interviews, skim through those questions, just because you are confident with your problem solving skills. Right. So that is a major. a thing that companies look for that is problem solving and i actually advise everyone to solve question not just to increase your numbers but to improve your uh, problem solving skills that's a yeah, great answer is, actually yeah yeah that's right if you have just done like 200 300 lead code problems you it, it, even if you are able to let's say mug up all those questions you won't be able to apply them because exactly. i'm not mugging up i'm able to apply their concepts to similar or tougher problems Yes. and that is because i have solved what 16 1700 problems so uh, that is the benefit i have due to cp and i think i'll be able to abuse it for a few more years at least <laughs> <laughs> that's great i mean uh, so what is the best part about working at so many different companies from ranging from big tech to startup or to an international company what is the best yeah. experience did you had till now uh, so the first thing is we get to experience diverse uh, com- type of companies so uh, a naive person would think that okay google is the best but uh, now that i have done internships at code chef share chat and google and now mercari i'm able to identify the pros and cons uh, first hand okay. right? i'm not mm-hmm. listening to some advice second hand it is first hand experience and uh, i can essentially base my decisions on my own experience mm-hmm. so that's uh, one big thing because in internship you don't really have any commitment right you can easily leave so it's not a you know a, a bad spot on my career background either so it, it is a really mm-hmm. powerful uh, thing you can do exactly. besides that is obviously the learning you get right mm-hmm. uh, making personal projects is great and all but uh, uh, what you make in personal projects and what you do actually in the company is actually pretty different some people think that mm. uh, you're going to be coding uh, in javascript the front end of whatever they have designed it would be very similar in a company that's not usually the case that's usually yes. only in early startups right uh, like uh, in google i was working on proto files a lot like for the first two three weeks um, all my code was in proto files and uh, yeah ha- have fun doing that in your personal project so uh, mm-hmm. that is why i think it is a uh, very useful in that sense as well mm-hmm. uh, other than that uh, i guess i have different type of uh, fun at different type of companies mm-hmm. like google was very chill whereas uh, share chat was a lot of uh, first hand learning like actually mm-hmm. handling production issues mm-hmm. that you don't get to do at google as an intern got and it. then at mercari i'm still exploring yeah i mean uh, definitely you got to expand your areas around different lines when you work for so many different companies and that too of different geographies so uh, great i mean your experience definitely will help the students yeah and i get a free trip to japan that is great. yeah exactly so the perks are just the by product of your efforts that you already put in so Uh, that that's great i mean friends i love talking to you i hope this video will help all the students and make sure you folks connect to prince because obviously he's yeah, just started subscribe to my youtube channel yeah subscribe to his youtube channel and he has just started okay. for internship yeah, and finally. he's just uh, yes that's why i came here to plug my youtube channel thank you <laughs> <laughs> uh jokes apart so you should check out his channel he might be sharing some amazing content there and do connect with him on linkedin reach out to him ask your questions whatever doubts you have after this interview so that you you might get some amazing insight out of him so thank you for watching let's meet in the next yeah. video thank you prince bye bye take care